Hey everyone, I'm Lizelle Crowley. I'm here at the Cool Tool Studio to show you how to make a beautiful pair of fine silver earrings using an antique mold and a cubic zirconia. This is the project we're going to make. This is an antique mold called Carve Marquise and we're going to impress the clay into the mold using FS999 clay and we're going to set a cubic zirconia in it. Let's get started. These are the tools we're going to use for this project. We're going to use FS999 fine silver clay. We want to have a pair of tweezers, a drill bit, an agate burnisher, a three millimeter biopsy punch, a clay pick. We're going to use this uh, carved marquee antique mold, tough cards, coil roller, and two four millimeter cubic zirconia. And you want to make sure that the cubic zirconia you select can withstand the firing temperature of FS999. And Cool Tools has an excellent chart to give you that information. We're going to use water and a brush and a clay hydrator. And we're going to work on um, a clay board. This is one of my favorite work surfaces. The clay releases very easily from it and it's on four non-skid feet, so it's very stable and very level. Let's get started. So um, we're just going to impress the clay right into this mold. It's very quick and easy to do. So I'm going to take my clay out of the hydrator. Now this hydrator is excellent for long-term storage. It'll keep your clay moist forever, but it's also great for while you're working. You can upend it over the clay and it'll keep it nice and moist while you're working. I'm going to pinch off a piece of clay. And this is maybe, I don't know, four grams of clay. And I'm going to create a tapered coil. I'm going to taper it on both ends until it's long enough to fill the texture. And I'm going to press down with my coil roller to get it started in there. And then I'm going to push it with my fingers. And this agate burnisher has a nice gentle curve to it that sort of mimics the curve of the uh, mold. So I'm going to use that to get a nice um, smooth curve on the back side of the earring. And here's my design. I'm going to come in with my clay pick and just trim around it. This is a very quick and easy way to make a pair of beautiful earrings. Um, and there's many, many, many antique molds that Cool Tools carries that could be used. Um, and you could also use this mold for pendants, rings, whatever you'd like but I just, I just think it makes a really pretty earring. I'm going to reclaim my clay from the um, burnisher. Sorry, couldn't remember my word there for a minute. Now this is deep enough that I should be able to just come in with my three millimeter um, biopsy punch and punch out the hole for the cubic zirconia. Take my four millimeter CZ, pop it in there, press it down with my coil roller until it gets right under the surface of the, um, of the clay. So that's deep enough to contain that. And I can also just kind of compress around the edge with my fingers just to tighten up that edge. And then I will poke a pilot hole for my ear wire. So that will be set aside to dry. It will be sanded and I'll drill out the hole for the earring. And then all that needs to happen is it needs to be fired and polished and, 
it'll be ready to go. Um, I'll make the other one and we'll get them fired and we'll show you the end result. Okay, so these are dried and sanded and the last thing I'm going to do before firing is drill out the holes. I'm going to use this wonderful um, hand drill. I love this because all of the drill bits are stored in the back and if you're anything like me, you need them stored in the back so you don't lose them. And they're very easy to change. So I'm going to go right into my pilot hole. And as you drill, you want to apply just minimal pressure. You're letting the drill drill through, not poke through. And as you see dust rising, you know that it's doing the job. And eventually it will go all the way through and you'll have a nice clean hole. And the reason we drill the hole into the dry clay rather than try to cut it into the wet clay is it gives you a much more controlled hole and a very clean hole. So I'll go ahead and drill the other one. We'll fire them. We'll polish and patina them and put them on ear wires and show you the finished results. So these are the finished earrings. They've been fired, brushed, polished in a tumbler, patinaed, and then brought to a satin finish. But of course you can finish them any way you would like. They're going to look beautiful dangling, dangling in the ear. I've also used this exact same mold to make these earrings. And what I did was instead of using the whole uh, motif, I cut it in half and I poked a, a hole for the ear wire and three holes for dangles. And again, you could really play around with this and come up with a variety of ways to do it. Um, this would be a great production item for a show because you can mix up the colors of the beads you used in the dangles. I had a lot of fun making these earrings. I hope you will too. Thank you for watching. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.